Now that you are in a deep trance, I want you to imagine something for me. Imagine that you are in an open field on a warm, summer day. The grass is nice and soft, and the occasional tree and boulder break up the landscape nicely. Just imagine yourself walking through this place on this pleasant summer day, a gentle breeze keeping you company as it ruffles the grass and provides a nice cool contrast to the warm sun shining on you. And as you keep walking on this relaxing day, you see a lake full of clear water ahead of you. I'm going to count from 10 to 1, and with every number I count, you'll take another step towards the lake, being right at the edge of the water when I reach 1. 10. The warm sun heating you up nicely. 9. The wind carrying you along. 8. Feeling nice and relaxed. 7. Just enjoying the day. 6. No cares or worries. 5. Calm and relaxed. 4. The soft grass below your feet. 3. Almost at the water. 2. Just one step away. And 1. Relax. You're standing on the edge of the lake, the water being very deep on your end, but so clear that you can easily see the sandy bottom. Everything is so peaceful and relaxing that you just decide to sit down and let your legs hang off the edge, your feet dipping into the warm water. And as you let them rest in the water's warm embrace, something strange starts to happen. The skin on them is becoming smooth and white, and your feet start to merge together into a single heart-shaped fin. You move it experimentally. It's slightly awkward at first as your legs are forced to move as one, but you quickly get used to it and enjoy the feeling of power as your fin pushes the water with ease. Curious, you start to lower yourself into the water more. As your legs start to sink into it, they begin to turn blue and become smooth, taking on the shape of a mermaid's tail, the only noteworthy difference being that it starts to get wider again near the end, your heart-shaped fin connecting at the center of the end of your tail. Also, a round fin forms along the edge of the end of your tail. It is blue-gray in color, as well as fairly large. Also, the edge of it curves in and out, forming a pretty wavy pattern. As your legs sink lower and lower, they turn more and more into a tail. Before long you are submerged up to your thighs. There, six triangular fins form around your tail, each pale red and equally spaced apart. You keep on lowering yourself into the warm water, and as your waist dips in, a round fin forms around it just like the one that goes around the end of your tail. And with your tail complete, you let go of the ground, your arms and torso falling into the water, but your tail being strong enough to prevent you from falling deeper. With it fully submerged, your torso becomes smooth and white, narrowing as it goes up. As for your arms and shoulders, they become narrower, while your hands turn into large, three-segmented flippers. Just like with your torso, they become smooth and white. The last thing that happens with your torso and arms going under is that a circular fin forms around your neck. It's almost identical to the ones at the top and bottom of your tail, except that the base of it goes down in the middle of the front and back of it. With your body below your neck fully transformed, you tread water for a bit, enjoying its warmth. It feels nice, just treading water like this. Your flipper's tail and fins all working together to let you float there without having to give the process the slightest thought. Feel how the water flows around your body so effortlessly. It's all so calm and relaxing, and it feels so right. There's just one thing left to do. Slowly, you let yourself start to sink into the water. Your neck shrinks as it turns smooth and white, followed by your head. On your head the last of your old skin turns smooth and white and your face stretches out to form a long muzzle. Your nose takes on the shape of a small, pale red ball that occupies the tip of your muzzle, allowing you to breathe underwater just as well as above it. Along the top of your head, a small decoration appears. There are two starfish-shaped rocks, pale red in color, on each of your ears. Going between them and along the top of your head, three large pearls connect them. From beneath this decoration, you have a fin. It is shaped like the circular ones on your tail and torso, except it only comes out from below the decoration instead of going all the way around your head. The last change that happens is that you grow long, flowing hair from the back of your head. It is teal-colored, and is held together by two bands of pearls, one located one-third of the way down your hair and the other two-thirds of the way down it. Now that your body is fully transformed, 
you swim out a bit and let yourself float in peace. Even though you're underwater, you can still feel the warm sun on your smooth skin, gently relaxing you as you enjoy your new form. Let your eyes close as you drift there. All of your human stresses and human worries are so irrelevant and far from you right now that it's hard to even remember what they might have been. And as you just drift there, feeling so relaxed and at peace, you notice a subtle current pulling you across the lake like an underwater breeze. You spread your flippers out and let it take you as you relax in it, starting to feel a bit sleepy. And as you drift, you can let yourself start to swim slightly with your tail the feeling of the water being pushed away by your tail soothing and relaxing you. Just drift and relax as you lazily swim with the current. You lose track of time as you let it flow by like the water flowing around you. Find yourself gently and mindlessly swimming from place to place around you. Not really thinking about it, just enjoying the motion of it, the sights, the feel. No worries or stress, nothing that you need to think about. And as you swim, you notice a school of fish swimming by. They are very colorful, with lots of vibrant yellows and blues and other bright colors. The fish seem to enjoy being near you as they swim around you, keeping you company in this mesmerizing display of colors that spirals and shifts around you. The fish are so mesmerizing that you can't help but lose yourself in their beautiful display. Red flowing into blue, with yellow cutting in between and taking over. But wait, some pink fish are swimming in front of you now occupying your vision where the yellow ones had been. Just swim and stare pretty primarina. There is nothing you need to do except enjoy this wonderful display. Feel the water flowing over your body and being pushed by your fins, feel the warmth that it brings, and just enjoy this peaceful bliss. These waters were made for you, and you for it. You swim and swim, nothing on your mind, until you realize that the sun is starting to set. It's getting pretty late and with how relaxing everything has been you've been getting tired, so you quickly spin, causing the fish to move away from you and allowing you to see around yourself clearly. Nearby, there appears to be a kelp forest, the kelp reaching all the way up to the surface. You swim to it, gracefully going between and through the towering kelp. It blocks out most of the sunlight above, but that just makes the rays that get through look all the more beautiful and the golden color of the forest ceiling that the setting sun causes makes it all the better, even if the forest is still on the darker side. It doesn't take you long to find a comfortable spot to lay down in, laying against the comfortable kelp and resting on the wonderfully firm ground. And as you lay there, you hear a voice in your head. While it speaks your language, you do not understand it. The voice says that the effects of this hypnosis file will become inactive if they are a risk to your physical body or your well-being if they are a risk to your social or professional life, if there is an emergency that they would prevent you from dealing with to the best of your abilities, or if they are a risk to your mental health. Also, any effect of this hypnosis file that was an issue will become active again once it no longer will be one. Additionally, you will never find this hypnosis file or the effects of it to be even slightly addicting. And then the voice stops, and you simply forget about it confident that you have somehow absorbed all of the information from it that you needed. Now Primarina, you can let one of two things happen. If you want to stay here a while longer, you'll find that this short rest has given you all of the energy that you need to feel completely refreshed and energized. You'll need to rest again eventually, and when you do or if you have decided that you have had enough of this place, you will find yourself slowly waking back up from this trance, feeling completely refreshed and aware. And if you want to simply leave this place now, you can find yourself quickly and easily falling asleep here, and waking up in the real world, feeling completely refreshed and aware. Regardless of what you choose, you no longer need my guidance, so goodbye, my beautiful friend.